Well, we all woke up here at KRK at our sister station, uh, Fox 16 News, with some horrible and heartbreaking news. We learned that former Arkansas Razorback and friend to everybody here, Mitch Petras, passed away. Friends of Mitch reaching out today saying he died following a heat stroke. Mitch Petras played for the Hogs until 2010 when he was drafted into the NFL. He played for the Giants, the Patriots, and the Titans. Our photojournalist Jay Burr talked to a family friend of his in his hometown of Carlisle. I saw a text that my uh, nephew and brother had been talking about it, and it's just like, you know, that can't be. But unfortunately, it was true. Just real sadness. I guess it was surreal at first. You just couldn't believe that, that something like that uh, would happen. Mitch Petras was the quintessential success story. Small town high school football star makes it all the way to the pinnacle of the NFL. But this little bird from Carlisle wasn't destined to stay in the Big Apple. said a lot when he came back here and, uh, and decided to put down some roots and, uh, and uh, stay in this area. Craig Ferguson, who's known Mitch his whole life and is the co-owner of Nick's Barbecue in Carlisle, where Mitch was a regular, will tell you that the big personality he had wasn't an act. It was who he was. That was totally Mitch. And, uh, we and it's just that big personality that people will remember about him the most. You could be having the worst day of your life and Mitch could walk in and, and you forget about all your troubles. And although Nick's barbecue won't have one of its regulars to eat, it doesn't mean that he won't still be around. We'll always remember Mitch, no, no doubt about that. He lived a lot of life in that 32 years. Quintessential Central Mitch right there. And, of course, in the newsroom, we remembered Mitch and uh, our friends at the Pink Trail Nation work with him as well. That's right. Drew Ammon joins us now with more live from Fayetteville. Hi, Drew. Hey, Bob and Ashley, just on a personal note, I remember watching Mitch on a live shot with Ben Creighton from Fox 16 in 2016 at Mississippi State. He brought so much energy and passion, just a joy to be around. Those who are, of course, around him on the football field will tell you that as well. Guys like Houston Nutt and Gus Malzahn. Now, in the meantime, Mitch, of course, moved from fullback to O-line at Arkansas as a walk-on and later earned all SEC honors blocking for the likes of Darren McFadden and Felix Jones, helping those two both rush for over 1,000 yards back in 2007. He used to nut on this former offensive guard who was all SEC first team as voted on by coaches in 2009. He had this energy. Uh, he just loved his attitude. Uh, Danny recruited him and... Um, you just knew that, uh, you know, he had it. He had this want to. And uh, he had this enthusiasm and this passion, uh, the, whether he was in the weight room, and he was so strong. Weight room or on the field, uh, you, you just, just loved his attitude, you loved his energy, and you loved the way he brought it every single day. He always brought that big smile. I'm going to remember that. I remember the fact that this guy was so positive all the time. And then when you look at on the field, Bob and Ashley, I always remember, and you see so many clips of it, him sprinting on the field. Whenever he had the opportunity to play football whatsoever, he was always sprinting, always hustling. And I don't know, it's a great thing to remember, just given the fact sometimes you'll see some pros out there, maybe they're not giving it 100%. And uh, I think Mitch Petrus on the field, he was always so excited. He was always so ready to play. It's a great lesson that... Uh, you know, you hustle all the time, and Mitch was doing that. Yeah. Exactly, Drew. I tell you, and when he would come here and he would cover uh, football you know, during football season, and he'd hit the newsroom. What well, didn't, didn't matter what room he was in, but when he hit you it, you knew he was here. You knew he was here. And at first, I remember the first time I was in, actually I was in this studio when he first walked in. The first time I met him, and there's just just this energy like a hurricane on the inside of the room. You're kind of like, okay, I'm just going to kind of keep my distance from this. But within two minutes. You're, you're like, you're drawn to him. I need mm -hmm. to be closer to this guy because he was so positive and put a smile on everybody's face and was just an absolute blast to be around. And he drew in so many people across yeah. the state through the television every single football Friday night. Yeah. He and will he, be missed. He did a great job, absolutely. I mean, a life lost way too soon. Absolutely. Certainly. We'll miss him a great deal. And we'll have more at 6 and, of course, at krk.com.